Four months passed before Maury and I would meet for what would be our final on-camera conversation. By then, he and I had become friends, and it was no longer the objective business it had been when I first flew up to Boston six months earlier. So when Maury told me that he wasn't sure about recording a final conversation, that he'd been having some choking episodes, and that he really didn't want the camera rolling on such an undignified scene, it didn't seem right to try to persuade him. I said I'd call him back for his final decision. The next day, he said he did want to go ahead. It is a sensational day outside. Really? Does, does any of that have any impact on your life anymore? What it's like outside? Only what I can see through my windows. I cannot get out. I move between this chair and my bed, mostly. So the world outside in an imagined world, and since only in these narrow confines. Does that make you more introspective? Much more so. You had some doubts the other day when I called you up about whether we oh. should about whether we should do what will probably be our last session together. Right. Why did you have doubts? When you called Ted, and this has happened within the last month or two, I was terribly fatigued, hardly any energy at all. And in addition, I had had a number of coughing spells in which the phlegm resided in my chest. I couldn't get it out. It would take me four hours, sometimes, of pounding and shaking by a physical therapist to get that stuff removed. And I was feeling too exhausted physically. And I said to myself, I don't want to be photographed as a spectacle, which I didn't think you would do. But if I was in that state, and that's what we were doing, that's what was happening, then it would be, that's how I was. But if all that we see of Maury's dying is this very dignified old man with a wonderful sense of humor and who has always had this little sparkle in his eye and who is always able to you know, very, put a very gentle, a very gentle spin on things. If that is all we see, we're not showing the whole process. It's a so. deception, if that's all you see. And I'm not into deception. All right. Then at Therefore, least... Therefore, you're going to see it all. All right. In words, then, take us into it. You're more afraid now than you were a few months ago. No. No? I'm less afraid. Really? I'm less afraid, but I'm still afraid because I've been working on my fear. I am more concerned about going out in a way that is serene and composed. I'm more afraid of not going out that way. I'm not so afraid of the death. I'm afraid of the suffering that it might entail. And I have a little aphorism. Don't let go too soon, but don't hang on too long. Find the balance. The very notion, Maury, of letting go implies a degree of control. Yeah. You think you have that degree of control? I don't know. I'm going to try. What I can tell you is I'm going to let it go bit by bit right now of lots of things. Things I don't need the newspapers much. I don't look at TV much. I listen to music. But there are a lot of things about the world 
I'm letting go. I'm not letting go of the people who love me. That will be the hardest thing for them and for me. I'm concerned right now with the people who come into this house, all of whom are loving people, who love me deeply and I love them. The issue then becomes, how can I keep them in line? They are pounding on my door. I don't have enough time to see them all without exhausting myself. So it's very hard for me, but I've also got to protect myself because I am very, very easily fatigued. Let me stop you there. Why do you have to protect yourself? What are you protecting yourself from? You're dying. I will protect myself so I can go on the next day. Well, but wait a second. What is more important? I understand all these other trivialities, television, newspapers. Uh, that I that I get. Uh, but there's nothing trivial about people who love you. Ted, intrinsic to my being is the capacity to respond. When I can't do that anymore, that's when I want to go. That's my criterion for the fact even though the body is functioning. When that is gone, more is gone. The capacity to be responsive to the other person in an emotional, feelingful way. If I can't do that anymore, forget it. That's how I feel. More you don't you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'll, I'll help you put your glasses on. 